Today we bring you an exclusive story about a 17-year-old English student who's been kicked out of Burnley College for being conservative. And we have him on the show today to interview him about this awful experience. Welcome to Disrupt. Hello everybody, welcome to the show that uh, disrupts the narrative of the mainstream media, the show that brings you exclusive stories, stories that either the mainstream media are not touching, or even if they do, they give you their own boring bias as a spin. Now, this is about Leo Shepard. He is at 17, he's from Pendle, and he was going to Burnley College. That was his sin. Now, there's another sin. He's a conservative, he's right wing, and he's young. How dare you be all those in one category? This is the biggest weird thing that has actually happened in a long, long time. Because when you have Burnley College, who decided to kick him out, and we're going to explain what happened there, because we're going to have actually have him on the show in in, in a couple of minutes. But the, the problem I have with this is that Burnley College's argument was that this tweet about border control, it's simple. Someone tweeted, there's a quote uh, from... Uh, the whole uh, the asylum seekers and migrants saying all i ask for is a chance for a life that's all a chance to have a life and i don't want to go to rwanda basically leo said that life can be had in the beautiful country of rwanda which has much nicer weather than the uk what what's wrong with that tweet i literally thought when i heard the story i was like well i'm guessing if some young um, conservative decided to say something edgy or funny controversial or rude or whatever right that's all he said that's that's basically the reason that this mob rule mentality happened and then the management of college decided to expel him and uh, refused to enroll him for next year this is not looking good this is not the country that we need to live in in, in the system toby young from the free speech union got in touch with leo as well saying that they're hi leo please contact the free speech union if you'd like our help in this matter now uh, let's go to uh, leo himself uh, and actually i find out exactly what's happened with this whole story leo welcome to the channel how are you hi i'm all right how are you good no but thanks uh, you've had a crazy couple of days unfortunately um obviously bad we mentioned on the channel um what happened in a kind of short summary um, obviously we well, have the tweet of uh, one of the tweets that you sent uh, which was literally the softest nicest tweet ever about uh, immigration and Rwanda plan and everything else, but apparently you go into trouble. Yes, it's been quite for quite a while. There's been a witch hunt led by a group of fellow students uh, trying to. I don't know what they're trying to do, but they've been asking me for some time, and uh, they send all of my tweets into a group chat together and all mock me, and then that led them to reporting these tweets to college, and then I was excluded. It's been quite an awful experience. I was wondering because I was wondering if uh, how uh, the management actually of the college uh, found out. I'm sorry, that explains it, that uh, there was a mob rule mentality essentially in that uh, group chat. But it's kind of the um, the biggest problem with the uh, academia and uh, on, on a cultural level. A lot of people are going through. Um, I believe you've uh, been approached by the Free Speech Union, right? Yeah, uh, they uh, commented on my Twitter the other day, and I sent them an email. And they got back to me this morning, so I'm yet to reply to that. Oh, I've been a bit busy. Now they, they are they are pretty good actually, to be fair, uh, Toby Young and his team uh, with with these sort of uh, issues. Uh, but what, what's your experience been generally um, among I mean, obviously other young people in academia being a young conservative? Because it's a sin, right? <laughs> well, it's always been pretty difficult. Many people do disagree with me, but I found until recently most people. Although they disagreed with me, they were open to my views, but I thought it was maybe safe. And then until this, it was all seemed to be a facade. And now I have in quite a lot of heat. What, what made you even become a young conservative? Are you crazy? <laughs> How did you become a conservative? Uh, well, I joined the Conservatives in 2019, uh, just after Boris Johnson was elected, uh, because I'd always been brought up with conservative views. My uh, household was quite conservative and... I saw what Boris was doing and how great he was once upon a time. <laughs> and I thought, that's something I want to support. I want to make the world a better place yeah. and make a better place. 
I love how you said that uh, yeah, Boris was great once upon a time. I and mean, we are going through a bit, a bit of an issue with the, the, the government and the top of the Tory party anyway, but uh, so people can still be conservative yet criticize the leadership. Um, what's your advice now that it's happened to you, uh, to other young people or young right wingers? Um, should, should they brave it or should they just run and hide when it comes to, uh, again, on a societal level, um, some, some people might be scared to even express their opinions or say that I am conservative. What's your advice? I really wish I could tell them to just brave it, but in this world, it's very dangerous and awfully difficult to do so. It shouldn't be, and I think there does need to be change because there's way too many stories like mine. There are many people that are ostracized and have their lives destroyed by the institutions uh, in our country just because they have an opinion people don't like, and it's an awful state of affairs. Yeah, I mean, it, it is quite sad that, you know, Um, a, lot, a lot of people like yourself and there are a lot of other young um, kind of conservatives or people who are just politically not even socialists uh, are living in this fear in a, in a western democratic society uh, but well, what's what's next for you what's the next step uh, i'm guessing you have a uh, kind of a team, team people i would say advising you on a legal ground and everything else what are you going to do well uh, i was speaking to my solicitor yesterday and we're currently uh, on a fact-finding mission we're filing freedom of information requests to the college so we can get the details of all the complaints and get the full story out and then see where we can go from there well i mean i've got best of luck to you um but you know, it's going to be obviously a tough right but someone has to fight these battles and we're all behind you obviously on this channel um, and also we're not going to um, keep you there i don't know where you where you are where are you out somewhere <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm up on Pendle Hill. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Well, lovely weather. Uh, hopefully you're not affected by the RNT socialist strike. Uh, but thanks again, uh, Leo, for coming on the channel. And uh, again, best of luck with everything in the future. Thank you. Oh, wow. Just just wow. I mean, I don't really know what else to say at this point because of the, the way the management of Burnley College handled this or mishandled this is going to cause more trouble. But maybe this is what we needed. Maybe as a culture, as especially... On the, in terms of the political spectrum, the conservative side, the cultural conservative side in this country, maybe we need these battles to expose the, the establishment, to expose the flaws in the system. Because if it's a systemic issue, that's one thing. If it's going to be one or two people at the top of the college who just decide to make a decision, they're going to get into trouble anyway. Well, we are going to keep you guys posted and let you, can, let you know what uh, Leo is going to be up to in the future. And there's hopefully, hopefully there will be some justice that will be So now let's go to your comments. At the end of this drop, we pick uh, uh, the, the most liked and popular comments uh, from the previous shows. Uh, let's firstly go to the Scotlander, I'm guessing, <laughs> uh, who's uh, talking about the. We, we had a video when I reacted to uh, the uh, illegal, pro illegal migration protesters who were having a meltdown in central London. And uh, this is a comment saying, Not forgetting the likes of Lily Allen and Gary Lineker saying that they would house Syrian refugees and still haven't done it, considering that actually have the space with their multiple houses, they have no excuse. Absolutely spot on. I mean, where's the lie? There is no lie. This is the biggest issue that we have, that if, if they're going to be doing virtual signaling, maybe be practical or maybe don't overpromise. Maybe now you understand When the country says we don't have space, we don't have space. If you don't have space in your house, you know, the, 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 the other protesters, then that's how we feel, the rest of the country. Now, let's go to the next one. Bob Ives uh, is about uh, the rail strikes and trade unions, talking about how all these unionized companies are labor activists. Uh, they vote in teams and are told who to vote for. In my time working within a union, I was told who to vote for all the time. It, no one's talking about these scandals, by the way. No one's talking about uh, the collectivist scandals that we have uh, inside uh, not just trade unions, but also corporate charities. And, and you, know, you would expect us to, to get it from greedy, corrupt corporations, businesses. No, no, no. It's not just them. The corruption that we see is now everywhere across the Western world, which is sad to see. Now, last comment. Uh, David Brenton says, as a Brit... I would like to have sympathy for Macron. This is uh, when Macron lost his uh, parliamentary election. So I would like to have sympathy for Macron. But I think I'll prefer to have an endoscopy without anesthesia. <laughs> without, so without anesthesia. <laughs> I can't. I mean, seriously, this is one of the best comments I've seen in the history of all comments. So well done, David. 
for your sense of humor. And I hope they don't really literally mean that because that would be painful. Uh, <laughs> thanks again, guys, for all the support, all the comments. Uh, make sure to share this video. This is actually one of the important videos, the uh, most important videos I've done recently as an exclusive. So we are going to be doing more exclusive stories on Disrupt. Yeah, there we go. That's all. At 6 p.m. Monday to Friday. Today we, we did it early at 5 p.m. because it was an important story to get out. Uh, but we are going to be doing it so if you could share this video with your friends and family and everybody else email it everywhere and on social media i would appreciate it massively thanks so much for watching i'm my tc and this was disrupt